Thousands of construction site workers in New York City were allegedly trained in safety, but in reality, they never got the proper training. A company and six of its executives are now facing charges accused of running a sham safety school. Prosecutors say the alleged frost cost at least one worker his life. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu has more from Lower Manhattan. And in an industry like this, fraud has dire consequences. Between December 2019 and February 2023, Valor Security and Investigations issued construction safety certificate cards to about 20,000 students, even though the students allegedly did not complete the city's required 40 hours of training. The city now asking those 20,000 to get retrained. Bragg showing a text from an undercover agent trying to get a training certificate. I was not a math major, uh, but uh, you can't do uh, 40 hours of training in under 24 hours. 19 people, including a NYCHA foreman and two master plumbers, are now charged for acting as brokers. Valor and six executives and employees are charged with enterprise corruption, among other things. And four of them are charged with reckless endangerment for the death of Ivan Frias, a construction worker who fell 15 stories to his death in 2022. Valor submitted documentation that falsely represented that a 36-year-old construction worker had completed 10 hours of safety training, including eight hours of fall protection, when in fact Valor had never trained this worker. The fake safety cards were allegedly sold for between $300 and $600, and investigators say the president of the company received nearly a million dollars, likely from the sale of those cards, and used the money to buy homes, luxury cars, and jewelry. Public safety includes buildings and construction safety. So when one of your partners in that effort breaks that fidelity, uh, I think every New Yorker has a right to be a little bit disgusted. 